I'm Kate Bonner for the Water Cooler Diaries on KBTV Online. Thanks for joining. First up, full disclosure, I have a terrible head cold. My eyes are puffy. I sound like Betty Davis. Let's just say I'm not sure if this is going to be a keeper for the archives. But listen up because it's a great story. On today's Entrepreneur of the Month segment, we'll be taking a look at an enterprising man who's banking on an age-old practice gossiping about your neighbors. His website, RottenNeighbor.com, has become an instant success across the nation, garnering more than one million hits per day. As Brent Walker put it, he's the creator of RottenNeighbor.com. His is a site where potential home buyers and renters can see what kind of neighbors they're gonna get after they move in. All you have to do is type an address into the search bar on the home page. The location is then patched through in a Google Earth map, and voila, you can read stuff that's been posted about the people in your neighborhood. Anyone can post anonymous comments, video, and pictures about their neighbors. These show up on the map as either a greenhouse for good comments or a bright red house for bad neighbors. Walker, a 27-year-old businessman from San Diego, got the idea for RottenNeighbor.com after a bad neighbor experience of his own. He and his girlfriend moved into a new apartment and they soon noticed a rotten smell coming from their neighbor's place. Had they known what their neighbors were like, the couple wouldn't have moved in. That's when he thought, hmm, there should be some sort of service to let you know about your neighbors. Funded by investors and supported by Google's advertising, RottenNeighbor.com is developing additional features such as a social network where people can create a profile for free, add friends, and send messages a la MySpace. But the real draw of RottenNeighbor.com is the comments, which are brutally honest and just plain funny. Here are some of my favorites. These are the dirtiest and most ignorant people I have ever met. Their house looks like a landfill, reads a post about a home in Kissimmee, Florida. Another anonymous poster from New York has this to say about his neighbor in a home just off Park Avenue. Super rich billionaire on the block has two or more Escalades parked illegally at all times, making it impossible to park. And finally, a poster in Los Angeles who complains, quote, these people are snoopers. They snoop into other people's yards as they walk their dog. Despite some biting posts, Walker says the website is providing an important service by helping people choose a place to live. Some, however, aren't convinced. Critics say the post could affect home values and invade people's privacy. But Walker points out that he is legally protected by the Communications Decency Act of 1996. He's also set up a system for removing quote-unquote offensive posts or comments that violate the terms and conditions of the site. Despite the skeptics, Walker's RottenNeighbor.com has one million hits a day with people from New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago among its most active users. He says there's even a reality television show in the works based on the problems posted on the site. Walker says the website's popularity is no coincidence. Even with its obvious pitfalls, he is confident that it's helping potential buyers and renters and creating better neighbors since they can be held accountable for their actions. After researching this piece, I was so curious as to whether anyone had written anything about me or any of my neighbors, so I plugged in my address, and so far, shh, no comments. Fingers crossed. Thanks for joining our Entrepreneur of the Month segment today. I'm Kate Bonner for the Water Cooler Diaries on KBTV Online.